There was another report from Bob Nightingale in his Sunday notebook. Oh, also buried in this says the San Diego Padres are aggressively trying to sign Juan Soto to a contract extension, just as they have all season. Before having to make a decision this winter whether to keep him or risk losing him as a free agent after 2024. When I read this, I was like, ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Really? They're they've been aggressively trying to sign Juan Soto all season. I don't buy that. Juan Soto got off to a slow start this season. They were trying to do it then. The Padres have been not at 500 or over 500 since mid-May. I think a little before that, since May 10th, they haven't been over 500. So should their priority be locking up Juan Soto, who just admitted, by the way, that the team quit during that Mariners series, their expectation, or the, excuse me, their priority should be to try to get a contract extension done during the season with Juan Soto. Isn't that supposed to be more of an off-season thing? I want Juan Soto focusing on trying to help the team win every day. I don't need him focused on contract offers. I don't need his agent, Scott Boris, to be focused on that and maybe talking with Juan about that. I don't need that. I want that to be an off-season thing. I want the full priority to be on winning baseball games. And I don't, I'm not going to say that Juan Soto's priority isn't that. But if this is true, again, it's from Bob Nightingale, so take this with multiple grains of salt. might not be true. But if it is, I, I, I don't know. I, I just don't feel great about the... They're aggressively trying to sign Juan Soto to a contract extension in season when he's not a free agent till after next season. And in the offseason, they'll have plenty of time to talk to Juan Soto about a contract extension. And they'll have plenty of time to talk about whether they should deal him before he reaches for agency or sign him to an extension or let him walk after 2024. There'll be time for that. But is that is the time now? No, I don't think the best time for that is now. Now, them talking about a Juan Soto extension at any point in time before he reaches for agency, obviously, that should not be a surprise. They gave up. James Wood, Robert Hassel III, C.J. Abrams, Mackenzie Gore, Yarlin Susanna. Am I forgetting anyone else? They gave up a lot for Juan Soto. And you don't give up all of that and just say, no, it's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go walk. We're not going to make you an offer. We'll have you for two plus seasons, probably two pennant races, because this one doesn't feel like it's going to actually end up in a pennant race. Uh, hopefully next year will, if they continue to have him on the team, which I think they will. They don't go and get Juan Soto and give up all of that to not make a big effort at bringing him back. Right? But what's the price tag? Like I've been saying, $500 million, some might think he's not worth $500 million, or some might think the Padres shouldn't sign Juan Soto to a $500 million extension. But if the Padres want Juan Soto bad enough long term it's not about what you think he is worth it's about what are other teams going to be willing to give him if other teams if steve cohen's going to be willing to give juan soto 550 million dollars or even 500 million dollars or 490 whatever and the padres don't think he's worth that that that's not what is the the big question here the big question is is peter Seidler willing to give him more than what the mets are because it feels like Juan Soto, with a Scott Boris being his agent and all that, it feels like Juan Soto would go to the highest bidder. Like Carlos Correa, I know there was the medicals and all that, which was very rare and something that we have like never seen before, where he signed with like three different teams and then ended up going back to the Minnesota Twins, obviously, for much less than his original contracts. But it feels like a Carlos Correa thing, where he, if that team is a contender... And if Juan Soto thinks that team is going to be a contender, then he's going to go sign with the highest bidder. That's what it feels like. And if the Padres don't have success this year, which doesn't seem like they are going to end up having, and if they don't go deep next year, then does Juan Soto want to be here long-term? 
We don't know what his relationship is like with other guys in that clubhouse because it is out there, right? There's a lot of talk about the egos in that clubhouse and some guys maybe playing for themselves on different islands. There was that quote that came out from, I think, Rich Hill over the weekend, right, about the Dodgers and them being so great. Maybe he was talking a little bit about the Padres, but he hasn't been here that long, so I don't really know. But yeah, it's... Does Juan Soto want to be a Padre? I don't think we definitively know the answer to that. And I don't see him signing an extension. Definitely not signing an extension during this season when the San Diego Padres are under 500 and they're not headed for a postseason spot.